Hey guys, I got another gift, a gift to myself, again from uh, Dailies. Check it out. This will most likely be the last one, of course, for this year, because now the season is getting um, a lot colder. So these will have to hibernate over winter, either in um, the um, greenhouse here, or within the um, climate zone I've created under the ice cream bean. The uh, microclimate zone here where I have many of the, um, the other youngsters. So let's go and open our, our box. I can't even remember what I've ordered because it's been like um, three weeks. I took a little longer this time and they sent me a couple of um, follow-up emails due to the um, delays with coronavirus and um, other kind of delays. But it got here. It got here two day three days early. So I'm pretty stoked. Let's get in there. Here you go. Lovely instructions. What to do. Common sense, really. And... Um, the invoice and even though even though it seems like a lot trust me guys this is only like one night out with the boys or the girls okay there's the list for anyone interested of what's in the box Okay, that's what it looks like from the top. Nice, huh? Very, very nice. Every leaf is green. So far, so good. So there it is, guys. All the way from northern New South Wales. And uh, 10 out of 10 so far. Check it out. Check it out. The, check out the condition of these um, plants. Even if I paid someone, a friend, a family member, to bring these down for me, there's no way they could have done a job this good. Look at that. No dryness, no damage, no yellow leaves, nothing broken. Look. Look at this. That's the kind of company you want to deal with. So, let's pull these guys out. Wow. Check it out, guys. Check it out. I wish I can keep them looking like this over winter. Oh, very windy today. Gale force um, winds. But uh, I'll be quick and get them safely in a protected area. So let's have a look and see what we got. First we have a madrano. Mad madrono. I don't know if you guys are familiar with madrono. But this is a, a substitute for... Um, right now I can't remember, believe it or not. But... Um, I'll get back to you on that one. The Madrono. I have to look it up, I forgot. And then we have... Everyone knows this one. Longan, right? You all know Longan, Longan. This is a different variety than the one I have. This is Chompu. Chompu variety. So there's many different varieties of uh, Longan. Just like there's many different varieties of apple. Next one, with these sexy leaves. Long, sexy leaves. Is a uh, pitomba. Oops, no it's not. Sexy leaves, 
wrong one, sorry. Sorry guys. The sexy one is yellow mangosteen. Gee. They're connected together. And this one with the small leaves is pitomba. That's better. Mm. Um, this uh, yellow mangosteen is going to be a, a bit of a challenge here in Melbourne. The sexy one. Sexy means ultra tropical. But we're going to try, guys. Like I told you back in summer, we're going to try our best with these. Um, um, tropicals. This one's tag seems to be in the plastic. I've got to open that. See, I can't even remember what I bought. Too much going on, guys. Too much going on. I don't have a, an assistant. I'm doing everything myself. So memory is the last thing that, that I'm focused on. Look at the leaves on this. Hmm? And that one also has its label stuck in there. Let me pull these guys out. Okay, now they're out of their packaging, except the ones in the middle. I'll pull them out at the end because it's very windy. And I don't want them to uh, go tumbling. Because they're very lightweight. So, <clears throat> these last two here were sugar apple. Which is basically a, a very cold sensitive version of the custard apple. So this one will be a challenge as well to grow here in Melbourne. And the last one was a yellow Japuticapa. Right? I thought I would try that too. Because I've got a, a black one. So now we're going to try the, uh, the yellow one. I like the leaves on the, on the yellow one. Prettier than the, uh, the black one. Look at that. Look at that beautiful tropical look on the yellow Japoticaba. The um, sugar apple is nothing special. Not much at all. Except for its fruit. <laughs> if I get any fruit from this. The... <clears throat> what did we call this one again? The yellow mangosteen by far is the, the most... Um, visually appealing look at the size of the leaf wow love it i love it so that's going to be a challenge so sugar apple is a challenge the um the yellow magazine here that i'm holding will be a challenge a big challenge these are ultra tropicals guys in the same league as um abu and uh star apple and soursop so this one here the pitomba that'll be really easy i got this one because it's very rare i like rare not only tropical but rare tropical from this is from brazil it's a tiny tiny little yellow fruit which looks like a ye yellow cherry guava a small one this one uh shouldn't be a challenge i've already got two longans doing fine well not fine but just crawling along we'll see how the um the chompu what yeah chompu variety does and lastly the madrono i believe this will also be a challenge i gotta get you the um the other name for, oh, sorry the um the substitute to this one i can't remember hang on i'll be right back Okay, I just finished taking a look indoors. This is the um, known as the lemon drop mangosteen. Yeah, in English. So this madrono must be Spanish. So the lemon drop mangosteen is a substitute to the achacha. Uh, for the people out there that are familiar with achacha, that's ultra tropical. So we can't do that in Melbourne. But the Madrono, or the Lemon Drop Mangosteen, is very, very um, 
cold friendly. So we're hoping that, um, where is it? This one will do fine here in Melbourne in a temperate climate. Yeah, great, huh? Pretty cool. So the only um, uh, challenge then will be the sugar apple. That's going to be a challenge. And what's the other one? The other one is, that's it. One challenge. The sugar apple. Mm, I don't think the, the yellow, I don't, hang on. And the yellow, yellow magustine, that's it. These two. This guy here. Two out of five. Two, four, six. Two out of six. Six trees, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video as much as I do, as I did making it. The best gifts are the, best, the gifts you make for yourself, by the way. Who would ever think of um, getting me these trees for a gift when they don't know um, what I'm after and they themselves don't even know um, what these are. So thanks for watching. Remember to put a like and comment. Give me some comments on uh, what you think about these trees, if you're growing them, if you've had success in a temperate climate. And subscribe if you haven't yet, guys, please. And uh, we'll see you from the next video. I'm going to go and pot these up now.